we live? I don't know. Oh, we are live. Jenny, we are live. <laughs> Welcome to the Rennie Show, everybody. If you're watching, pop us a comment so that we can see who's there and, and, and get the conversation going. But yeah, Jenny, um, obviously, for, for those that don't know, uh, Jenny and I had the opportunity to do a curiosity chat online in a group that we're both in. Uh, and we literally just had surprise questions and we just had to ask each other the questions and just see what happened. We enjoyed it so much that we've decided we need to make it a regular thing. So um, Rachel and Jenny together equals the Rennie show, your antidote to midweek indigestion. Uh, not that, you know, trademark and all that, we'll have to be careful with that. Uh, <laughs> but yes, so if anyone is watching and you have a question, please do pop it in the comments uh, and we might use one of your questions instead because we've got some questions for each other, some surprise questions. But if uh, viewers are putting questions in, then that would be even better. Oh, Chris Evans has joined. Hey, Chris, lovely to see you. Long time no see. Um, Chris Evans, not the Chris Evans. Not the, not the ginger Chris one, no. The no, not the, not the ginger Chris Evans. Um, yeah. He might be lying down having a cup of coffee after his breakfast show. Um, yeah. um, but who knows where we may end up? I think that's no, the thing, isn't it? Um, you yeah. just never know. Uh, yeah, the questions um, are really um, can be anything, can't they? So Absolutely. when we started, when when we had our curiosity chat, the questions were sent to us literally as we went live. Before, so neither yeah. Rachel. Neither Rachel or I had any clue about what the questions were going to be. And we had three questions um, each that we were to ask each other. And we thought that was a great format. So we, we've we've shamelessly, with permission. From, um, from Taz and Asher. That, Thank you, Taz and Asher. <laughs> um, we have shamelessly borrowed that format because it works really well. And yeah. the questions were completely random. So sometimes they were about business. Sometimes they were about life. Sometimes they were about loves. Sometimes they were about preferences, likes, yeah. dislikes, all sorts of things. They were completely random. Um, so um, as Rach said, if you've got anything that you think that would um, be a challenge for us to conver yeah. converse about, um, then you are very welcome. And if you're watching this on replay, um, then still put your questions in the chat. Can they do this in a chat? Um, please send us your questions um, in the comments because actually for future shows, because we plan to do this, we plan to do this um, um, on a regular basis. I think Absolutely. we did we say once a fortnight. I think we said we were going to do it, didn't we? Yes. Um, oh, Debs so is we're there. Do it. Hi, Debs. Debs, uh, this is so exciting. So, um, without further ado, yes. shall we get down to our first question? Let's and do who it. Who wants to go first? <gasps> Toss up. Well, you ask the question, so you can go first. <laughs> okay. Like so, uh, this uh, this is a this is a little bit of a cheat, but mm. I know you've been out, so you might not have seen my post this morning. Mm. So, um, um, I was talking about luminosity this morning and okay. the reason I chose this question is because Debs um, responded in uh, in LinkedIn so okay. um, we're talking about the many different words that people have to describe brilliance um, mm -hmm. a bit like Samilla's 90, 90 million words for snow yeah. um, was a really good book um, so my question is what word or words you can have as many as you like Rachel um what word would you use to describe your kind of brilliance oh wow goodness oh blimey that's that's a heck of a question to get us going with Jenny um wow so daft as this might sound the, the first one that comes to mind is actually purple, just because that's my favourite colour and it's my branding colour. Uh, I'm not sure what purple has got to do with brilliance, but um, it was the first thing that came to mind, I suppose. Um, so it's what my I background, have... my background this morning for that post was purple. Ah, see, great minds, great minds. Same wavelength, Jenny, as we always are. Um, so it's what what words do I associate with with brilliance? Is that the question? With your brilliance. So with, with the post brilliance. this morning was around the fact that you know sometimes we don't we don't think we're brilliant, we don't think yeah. we're sparkly, we don't think we're shiny, and we spend a lot of time um, wishing 
that we were like somebody else who we consider yeah. to be more shiny than we are. Um, and my post this morning was that was to remind people that actually we all shine in our different ways. And um, Debs um, said that she felt uh, she hadn't also considered herself as a as a shiny person, um, and it, the post had really made her think. Uh, and she talked she, about she's quite, actually um, that it's synchronicity. Um, and she said, "Glow, glow," was the word that she would use to describe her because people describe her as warm, um, yeah. and she is incredibly warm person, um, incredibly knowledgeable and warm, um, yes. and a very astute businesswoman. Um, yes. But she's also incredibly. Uh, so she said, "Oh, maybe, maybe less shiny and more glowing." And I, but glow is shine, isn't it? Glow, yeah. the, the warmth of a fire. You know, uh, the warmth of a candle, it's that beautiful lumi luminosity. Um, yeah, so, and that belongs to her. That's her kind. So that's so those words that describe your brilliance. Okay. Okay. Well, um, ha having heard what you've just said, there's a couple of things that come to mind. Um, the, the the first thing I suppose is warmth, which kind of reflects what you've just um, been saying about Debs, um, because I, I like to think that people find me warm and open and easy to talk to and all that sort of thing. Um, and I think whilst it isn't necessarily a word for brilliance, I think congruence is something that, that came up for me, as in my actions and my words are aligned you know which, which is, i guess is is a how i might describe a form of of my brilliance if you like if that makes sense not necessarily in a kind of appearance but in how it comes across which i think kind of reflects the the warmth bit um the the kind of you know the the honesty the truth behind what what i do i guess is is the brilliance does that make sense it does. And funnily enough, you might not be surprised to know that when I looked at synonyms this morning before I posted, very early this morning, when I looked at synonyms um, for luminous, um, lucid is uh -huh. one of them. Okay. And I think that that fits really nicely, doesn't it, with congruence? Yeah, definitely. Um, definitely. Um, so lucid is a synonym for luminous. So there you go. Who knew? Oh, there you go. See, <laughs> fantastic. Love it. Okay. So I guess that means it's now your turn. Um, so bit of a random one for you. How do you relax? Oh, how do I relax? I had a really, really busy day yesterday. Um, and um, I've got a busy day today. Um, this is my lunch. This is my lunch yeah. hour um, that I'm doing this in. Um, so I have a number of ways of relaxing. Um, I bake. Oh, wonderful. I and I've seen evidence of, of your baking. It looks incredible. <laughs> um, so I do I do like a bit of baking. I, I find that quite relaxing because of that because of the movement the kind of the stirring and the and the kind of um and and there's interestingly because I will say I don't really like structure but there is a structure to baking but yeah, there's that kind of yeah. I describe it as the the perfect combination of art and science yeah um where they fit together so baking um baking is a really great way of relaxing um I I do, I do love an audible book. Oh, very good, very good. So um, I books, so I, actual books. Yeah. Um, so I like, I love book books. I like to read. Yeah. Um, but I've discovered that I really enjoy being read to. Okay. <laughs> okay. Because I don't have to think. Then I can just. Yeah. I don't even. And I don't have to turn pages. I can just lie or I can sit there and I can just listen um, yeah. and it's wonderful. So I really like um, Audible and I'm listening to a very popular book at the moment, I think, um, called Lessons in Chemistry. I'm just trying to remember the author. Okay. Um, 
let me find it for you. Um, I hope it won't start playing on our thing. Um, um, Lessons in Chemistry by Bonnie, is it Garmus? G-A-R-M-U-S. Okay. Um, and it's just a fabulous story. Um, oh. And I've heard a lot of people talking about it just lately. Um, and it was a recommendation from uh, another LinkedIn colleague and friend of mine called Jen, um, Jen Hacken. Okay. And she recommended it. Um, so I bought it with my credit on my credit day uh, and I've loved listening to that um I also really like going for a walk yes but not by myself yeah a walk, walk where you can have conversation day, but walk and conversation um and it's a really gray wet miserable very unspring like day today but I do like a walk um and I do like a good film yes Yes. Are we talking cinema or are we talking at home or both? Both. Or oh, greedy. Both. Um, yes, I like. Although I did watch a film the other night, <laughs> the new Luther film on, Ooh. I think it's on Netflix. And yeah. it terrified. It was really scary. Oh. I had to watch <laughs> I had to watch an episode uh -oh. of The Great Pottery Throwdown. To, to Just calm to calm down. down. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, bless your heart. <laughs> So no more Luther then, not on your own anyway. <laughs> I loved it. It was a really good film, um, okay. but it it wasn't um, it wasn't what I would describe as as relaxing. Right. Yeah. Okay. Um, nice but I do love I do love a good movie. Yeah. Fantastic. Well, lots of good what about things. You? Oh blimey! Um, I'd say uh, quite a bit similar in a lot of ways. Um, as far as books are concerned, I'm a bit. Uh, well, you, could, you might actually say backward when it comes to books. I, I really do prefer a book, and I'll tell you why, uh, you know, a, a, a book in my hand, because when I've tried listening to things before, I suppose I've done it when I've been in the car, which maybe is the wrong time, but I zone out and stop hearing it, I guess because I'm focused on driving. So I don't know if you, when you listen to yours, are you driving or are you sat you know, deliberately to have reading time. Maybe that's what that's I need to find. I listen, I listen before I go to sleep. Right. Okay. So you that's so I'm usually lying down. Time. Yeah. So maybe that's um, what I, I need do, to find. I do if I've got a long journey, I do listen in the car. Um and <laughs> and people might not want to know this. Um but but I you know and then I and then I have to remember where I'm going. So oh, yes. <laughs> Um, so I hands. tend to listen yeah. to it when I'm on a motorway, you know, when I, yeah. when I kind of know I've got a long journey. Um, um, and and um, but then if I pause it, if I'm coming to a, if I'm coming to a, a complicated bit of the journey, then I yes. just pause it. So because then I have to listen to the sat nav man um, yeah. because I am geographically challenged. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> I, I don't I, I, yeah I don't find geography easy so okay. navigating my way through I'm okay on a motorway because it's straight um, yeah. most of the time um, but um, when it says things like you know head east or west I'm like I don't yeah, does he no. mean left or right is it ne ne never uh, yeah, so, week. that's how you remember it but yeah, so maybe I should try um, Audible because I keep getting a thing, you know, a free trial, two books on Audible and, and I, I don't do it. Maybe I should and actually put aside some time to try listening to a book rather than when I'm driving and just see what happens. I think it also it does depend on the on the person, the person who's reading it. That, that um, Yeah, the, the narrator, um, because I did listen to a book who that was narrated by the author. OK. Um, and it was a good book, right? But not every author should yeah. narrate. Yeah, just because they can write doesn't mean they can. Doesn't yeah. mean that they can narrate. There's a reason why some people shouldn't be allowed in front of a microphone, either to right. sing in public or to narrate <laughs> in public. And I won't mention the book because that would be really unkind. Um, but um, it wasn't it wasn't a great combination. So that was an that was a time when actually I stopped listening because I couldn't bear yeah. it. Stopped yeah. listening um, and then read and then read it 
um, which has happened rarely. Um, but if you, I've just also finished um, a pocket full of happiness. Okay. Um, which is a I lovely book that. by. I'll write that down. With Nail and I. Um, oh, um, uh, oh goodness! I can see his face. Oh, that's going to bug me now. Um, he was in the Loki Sorry. series as well. Oh, yes. His name's gone. Um, and I'll find it for you in yeah. a minute because it's yeah. so. Um, I'll find it, and as soon we'll go. Everybody, everybody who's listening to this, um, or not listening to this, will be shouting. Yeah. At us. Is, is that Richard his book? Gr Richard, Richard, e, Richard E. Grant, of course. Is that the book that he wrote after his wife died? Yes. Oh, okay. And it's a beautiful. It's it's a really um, um, it's a really beautiful book. Uh, it's beautifully written. And I'm actually going to see him live um, to talk oh, about oh, it. He's coming to Oxford. He's doing a book tour, I think. Oh, yes. And, um, I, I think I've seen the advert for it because we, on Sunday, we went to see Tim Peake live and it's organised by the yes. same people. Yeah. So um, mm. I think it's, yes. And and it's a combination of, of obviously, his life. It's the story, the love story of, of him him and his yeah. wife and how they met. And she was an amazing voice coach. Um, yeah. So they have loads of just lots of fabulous um, sort of theatre and, um, you know, thes thespian kind of story. Yeah. But also the underlying message is that, you know, that huge love that they had for each other, have yeah. for each other. And um, and she had asked him that was her that was her invitation a dying invitation to him was to find a pocket full of happiness every day. Oh, um, wow. lovely! Um, and that's what he's that's what he's trying to do. And as he says, you know, yes. some days it's easier than others. Um, Absolutely. But yeah, it was, it was a it, it was a lovely uh, it was a, a really lovely book. Well, I've written it down. I've added it to my list of things to read. And he's <laughs> and he's he narrates it. Right, so you, which I bet is wonderful. He, it's just wonderful, and he giggles in it. Um, so when he's sometimes when he's remembering the story, um, you can hear him laugh. You can hear the laughter yeah. in yeah. his voice. It's just it's it's just lovely. So oh, yeah. I love that. Fantastic. Oh, right. I'm going to give that a go, and may, maybe I should uh, get <laughs> that book on Audible as my first attempt. <laughs> that, yeah. And it's not a long. It's not a long. It's not a long. Um, I tend to look for um, really long books on Audible okay. so that. Um, uh, so I can listen for hours, um, but yeah. that one isn't a particularly long one. Uh, okay. So it will be a it will be a good one to start with, definitely. Yeah. Okay. Excellent. I will give that a go. I will give that a go. But yeah, I, I suppose briefly in in terms of um, relaxation, uh, I do like when I actually get round to it um, a, a bit of meditation as well. I do find that super super calming. Um, and again, like you, films escaping into a film where you don't think about anything else you know really being in that just in that moment that's uh, definitely something that I find very relaxing so yeah <laughs> is it my turn to ask a question now yes, it is uh, so this 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 um, um what I'd written was um what makes you really really cross oh <gasps> what makes me really really cross um Right, I suppose there's a couple of things that come to mind. First of all, uh, middle lane hoggers on the motorway. Can't stand it. Makes me really cross. Um, I, I have to try very hard not to swear in front of the children if they're in the car with me. But the idiots that sit in the middle lane because they're either too scared or too not paying attention enough uh, to move to where they should be. That annoys me. Um uh, oh, there was there was another thing that came to mind. That was it. Um, something else that I, I'm not sure if "annoy" is the right word actually, but when I see injustice, um, whether it's related to me or to other people, when I see injustice injustices happening, um, that really makes me very cross and want to do something about it. Um, yeah, <laughs> but I suppose that's that's probably quite common for a lot of people. But uh, yeah, I suppose that's the the empathetic side of me, um, not wanting to see people suffer and and done down just because of who they are, how they appear, you know, what what 
gender they identify as or what race they are what you know you name it what, whatever it is um that does make me very cross when they're treated differently just because of those things so yeah <laughs> All right, so is it my turn to ask you then, or do I, or should, or should do you want to answer that question as well? Oh, um, well, I could do. Um, I, I was on, I, I was working in Doncaster yesterday, so I did a lot of train uh, over the last mm. couple of days. I've done a lot of train, uh, train journeys, um, and um, the thing that drives me mad, not just on trains, but anywhere, is litter right yeah people leaving their stuff on train seats on or throwing it on the floor and so unnecessary there's a there's a there's a fabulous there's a fabulous lady or gentleman who comes down the train with a big bag going have you got any litter and you put it in there or you take it home with you um or you and i just put my couldn't um yeah. there was you know i'd had i'd had a packet of crisps on the train and I'd folded the wrapper up really small and stuck it in my pocket. And I thought, well, when I leave the leave the train or, you know, I'll find a litter bin. It's really not hard, is it? Um, it's not hard. And, um, and the lady came and said, have you got any litter? And said, wait a minute, it's in my pocket. <laughs> um, um, but then when I was walking out of the carriage and I thought, people just left their, um, you know, their McDonald's meals, their half-eaten sandwich. Yeah. Their, um, and I used to live in, in Scotland and uh, on a beautiful, you know, beach. Um, and people would leave their stuff. You brought it with you. Take um, it away again. Why don't you take it home? And yeah. I just, it's so sim, it's it's so simple. Um, and when I when we're you know when you're out walking, um, kind of relaxing, it's yeah. very unrelaxing when you when the people have chucked stuff out of their car window in into a field or whatever. And it's yeah, just, absolutely. I I don't. I don't get it. I don't understand why if people, why anybody would think it was okay no. to leave their stuff on the pavement or in a bush or um it um I, I don't I I don't understand it. So if anybody could shed no. any light on that, I'd be really interested. Um because I just don't understand no. why you would do that. Um and why it's okay for somebody else to have to pick it up. And if oh, I see somebody um, if I see somebody dropping litter, um, I I ask them to pick it up. Good, good. People are too scared to do that. We should do that. I say, well, excuse me, I think you've dropped something. Yeah. <laughs> I often get a mouthful, but I still say yes. it because um, it's like actually you, you've dropped you oh you've dropped something on the you know on the floor. Yeah. Um, so yes, litter is my big it's my big thing because I, I, yeah. Yeah, just don't why. understand. Yeah, absolutely. I'm right with you on that. OK, um, so your next formal question, then, is name one of your guilty pleasures. <laughs> I love I really love going to the races. Oh, OK. Are we talking horse racing? Yes. Yeah. OK. Yeah. Horse racing. Yeah. Um, and it was it. It was I, mean, I discovered this guilty pleasure quite late on in life. Yeah. Um, and um, I just love it. I, wow. I have a little flutter. Yeah. Um, and I have you, my, you I have my... up? oh yes, the whole yeah, Fabulous. the whole thing. i um, dressed up. Um, it's a it's a day out. You know, <laughs> sound like Wallace <laughs> and Gromit. A, a grand day out. Grand day um, out. Yep. But it is that whole thing. I love the. Um, I, I love, and I, I I'm not, um, I don't ride. Um, okay. I, I'm a bit, bit scared of the, of the, of the hugeness of horses. If okay. Zoe listens to this, she'll be laughing at me. Um, <laughs> yeah. uh, and, but I just, I just love it. I love the whole, the whole thing, the whole excitement, yeah. the whole, uh, everything about it. Um, having going for lunch, being in the grandstand, mm -hmm. choosing your horses to bet on. Yeah. Um, and I remember once going to a um, to a, an evening uh, race racing event, that, and then they have a concert at the end. So you have I'd simply read at the end, which was great. Um, and 
Um, my friend Lee and I were, were choosing our horses um, and I have a very unscientific way of choosing my horses. Um, so I either by the colours of the silk of the jockeys riding them yep. or the name of the horse. Yep. Um, or if I've watched them, if I've watched them go, I like to go and watch them walk around the parade yes. ring. Yes. Um, and I look at I look at them and I think oh, they've got a they've got a swishy tail or yeah. they've got a little sparkle in their eye. Um, that's exactly so that's how, how I, I choose. choose. <laughs> that's how I choose my horses. And I was talking to this couple, um, and the 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 gentleman was saying, um, oh no no no, he said no no, you need to. You you should be you should be you know looking at the racing post and you should be yeah. studying form, and I said well, my perception is is that it's random, it's kind yeah. of random, um, and I get that you know you can you can shift the odds a bit, but it most of the time it's random, um, yes. and you should just enjoy it. Um, so he was studying very hard with his pencil and making all these notes, and then we obviously we went we went our separate ways and we we both did our own way of, um and 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 I. Um, we won. We won a yeah. lot. So Excellent. we won enough to pay for our tickets, to pay for our dinner, to buy an extra bottle of champagne Amazing. and our taxi home. Well, that's <laughs> and we were still quitting. Yeah. So we did. We had a great time. And we, we happened to bump into him on the way out. Um, and he, I said to him, oh, how did you do? And he said, oh, it wasn't great. He said, <laughs> he said won nothing. Oh, well, won nothing. So <laughs> oh, nothing and he said how did you do and i said with my ran with my completely random um betting um you know tendency and he went yeah and i said we won handsomely excellent <laughs> so <Five Ks>. yeah. <laughs> but yeah i love going to the races um oh, and i'm lucky because um where i live there's there's quite a few um Newbury's not far from me, so right. there's lots of. But yeah, okay. I love love going to the races. Brilliant. What's yours? Can I? Can I? What's your guilty pleasure, Rachel? Well, at, at the moment, it's Married at First Sight on the TV. <laughs> I'm so ashamed. Um, I've poo pooed it for ages. My mum watches it, my hairdresser watches it, and they both keep telling me what fun it is. I'm like, no, it's ridiculous. Who on earth would do that? It's stupid. Well, I, I had a bit of free time, and I, I thought, I'm just going to have a look, because they've both recommended it to me. I'm just going to have a look. And I, I don't tend to watch a great deal of reality TV, but some of them, um, like SAS, um, um, what, what, what's it called? Uh, oh, the name's gone out of my head. But, the, you know, the, the SAS reality programme where they get people on to go through the SAS selection. I find that fascinating because it's all about, you know, what ha what when people's true personality comes out once they've been kind of, you know, broken down and put under stress, that sort of thing. Fascinating stuff. And I didn't think I'd be fascinated by Married at First Sight, but I was. <laughs> because some of the couples that are put together have an instant connection and it's visible and you know because they've scientifically been put matched with each other or i say scientifically based on science um but equally you see some who yeah the, the, there doesn't seem to be any chemistry or, or gelling at all when they meet but when you then follow their journey through the process and they're given challenges to do um you know, asking each other questions or around intimacy or around um, different things, you know, uh, meeting each other's families, that sort of thing. Um, it's really, really fascinating to see what happens for people because some people, they are so tied up in their own little bubble that they can't understand why what they're doing is upsetting somebody else, for example. Um, so psychologically, I find it fascinating to watch. I also, you know, some of them are a bit annoying, you know, that's yeah. fair enough. But it is fascinating to see what happens to the relationships when they're put through all these different challenges um, and to see where they end up. So, yes, that's my guilty pleasure. My husband would be ashamed. Yeah. <laughs> I have to admit to having watched 
one i think one series yeah. so ha having resisted and gone i don't watch that it's nonsense the whole exactly thing it's rubbish it's utter rubbish yeah yeah and then and then i started what i got sucked in by my daughter-in-law and um and then of course once you start um and i did I, is there one in australia yes that's, what, that's the think, one i've watched i think that's the one um um um, I think that's the one. I think that's the one that I. Um, that's the one that I watched. Um, so I, I, you just get sucked in, don't you? Yeah, um, so I absolutely. Um, and you, for all I'm the reasons that you said. So, no, I haven't. I haven't watched one since the first one I watched. But I can. Yeah. I can absolutely. Yeah. Um, I can. I can understand that. Um, Fabulous. Well, we've 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 reached half an hour. Of the Rennie show, so I, I know that's flown by. But I think I think we should probably uh, say. We should probably yeah. This is, a, this is our last question. I think this is that we should kind of um, we should probably forty five minutes is probably um, forty minutes is probably as long as people can stand. Do you think? Yes, I would think so. Even though I we are the... lovely, but yeah, yes. <laughs> I think everyone um, was very we're entertaining. We're, we're entertaining each other, if nothing else. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, so. Um, obviously, because it um, was the first day of spring this week on, was it the 21st of March? I think it's the, oh, yeah, the yeah. spring equinox. Yes. Um, my last question is um, about what's your favourite spring flower? Ooh. See, here's where it will become probably quite obvious quite quickly that my flower recognition is fairly rubbish um so my, my answer will be a very simple one i think daffodils are beautiful they are so beautiful um you know when, when you if you get a bunch from a shop they look like nothing they're, they're because obviously the buds are closed and they look like nothing and you put them in some water and they just explode into this wonderful thing of beauty and colour and shape um and I just I just think they're fabulous fabulous flowers so I'd have to say the daffodil do you know I I also love I also love daffodils um my my youngest my youngest son and his um, wife got um got married in March so spring oh, so on lovely. the first day of spring 20 it was their wedding anniversary yesterday them. thank you they're in they're in um they actually um they got married on what was the first weekend of lockdown so it was a bit stressing okay. um so they had to get they got married again um because we had to get married in an empty church the first time oh, gosh, so we're only yeah. allowed five people and they kind of shut the door behind us um the legal minimum requirement so they then they got married last year um again with with the whole lovely. thing which was lovely but the spring flowers in in um in fees bouquet mm -hmm. were just just glorious and i'm like you i just go oh that's a pretty one um yeah. i don't i'm not very good at flower recognition but but the reason i say that is because they were they were beautiful purple um oh. purples and um like the blues of an iris and uh, yeah, blues and yeah. yellows so i think for me it's less about the what they're called um yes um but it's it's more about the the look and that I always think the colours in the colours of spring flowers yes. are so vibrant. Vibrant, yes, absolutely, yeah. So crocuses are kind of that. It's not, um, you know, it's egg yellow, isn't it? Egg yeah. yolk yellow and white and purple um, of of crocuses. And mm -hmm. when I lived in Edinburgh, I used to work at the um, the Royal Hospital for Sick Children in Edinburgh, um, and th there's a a big piece of well, it's called the meadows. It's a big yeah. kind of common piece of common ground, and in spring, um, there are just it's carpeted with yeah. crocuses um, of, of yellow and white yeah. and purple, yeah. and it just it just lights up your heart, doesn't it, to see those yeah. fabulous flowers Definitely. after the kind of. I'm not great with winter. Um, I much prefer it when it's um, when it's spring. Yeah. Um, so those beautiful colours and daffodils are the same. Um, those really beautiful, and there's so many. There's so I was many just different say, kinds of daffodils. So much variety in the colours of, yeah. of daffodils. It's incredible, really. 
and tulips the same oh, i love a, i've noticed and it might just be me in the last few years that seems to be more um what i call frilly frilly tulips yes. so that yes. again they don't look anything they just look you know buds when they're when they're budded um yep. and then they open and, and they've got all these frilly bits and yeah, just... my, my, my friend bought me two bunches of different colored tulips uh a, a few weekends ago and it every time i went into the kitchen and saw them on the table they oh it just made me smile beautiful and so do you, I, I buy myself flowers on a regular basis. I always like to have some flowers in the house. And at this time of year, um, it's it's so easy, isn't it? Because you've got such a lot to choose from. Oh, uh, absolutely. And they're so yeah. beautiful. I might go, in, do you know, I, I popped in the shop this morning because there's a shop next to where I dropped my daughter off at school. And um, they ha I walked out past the flowers and thought, oh, daffodils, and, and didn't buy any. I might buy some when I go and collect her from school. <laughs> That seems like a good thing to do. Um, so, um, so that must mean we're on the last question. Yes, it must mean we're on the last question. So, um, what's your favourite colour? Sorry, say that again. What's your favourite colour? Oh, that's so hard. Um, what's my favourite colour? See, having having just rebranded, I'm sure that's probably a, quite a relevant question for you. It is. Um, and part of the part of the joy of rebranding um, was that I got to have more than because I, I had lots of color, <laughs> lots of colors in there. I think I've got about seven um, and um, they are. Um, I just love color. I think yeah. um, color is, is really important to me. Um, so color is, is great. Um, but I love um, now I know <laughs> I love um warm colors um are really <laughs> great um so that kind of warm glowing so it's that glowing glowing colors um so um pink, oh look i've got them on today pinks, you have, you pinks have. greens i have pinks pinks greens um and again there's that infinite variety isn't it? that's what i love i think that's what i love about color um i yeah. love purple yeah but, um Purple is my granddaughter's favourite colour. She told me yesterday. Very um, good taste. Very good taste. Yeah, purple is that richness, isn't it? Um, yeah. Um, so, um, yeah, greens, purples, pinks, um, blues. Yeah. All just it's really hard. Turquoise, teal. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> you name it, I've got it They're all in there. <laughs> um, Fantastic. But I think it's that it's it's the infinite variety and it kind of linked back to flowers, isn't it? Because when you see yeah. when you see the color combinations um, that exist in nature that aren't necessarily colors that you would put together um, yeah. and then yeah. you see them in nature and you think, oh, wow, that, that was fantastic. I noticed that particularly yeah. when I was on holiday in India um, and the, the color you know the vibrancy of the colors and the the colors that exist in nature yeah. um are just are just amazing aren't they um absolutely, absolutely. so yeah i love go out there everyone and and go and see the colors go for a walk <laughs> yeah good do you know even when you go to you know when you go to your, the vegetable shop um when you yeah. go to the supermarket and yeah. you look at i'm i'm not a lover of aubergines but i love i love the the purpleness of them the yeah. purple and the green that that go with that that go together and you know mm. when you see when you see that that kind of great bank of vegetables um mm. you know carrots and 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 tomatoes and cucumbers and all of those different leeks just all of those yeah. the colors that that are in there is just amazing and they Absolutely. they always say don't they that you should eat a rainbow yes um i always like that um yeah, it's not it always nice. easy when you're on a train um no because most beige. of it's usually beige yeah yes beige yeah. um yes beige, beige is, is not, part of the rainbow not, isn't it um somewhere yeah. I don't I'm not colors. sure beige is in the rainbow no um um but yeah I'm going to make up for it today but that but that whole the joy of color um yeah. and seeing you know for seeing people uh, in colors um and wearing colors and yeah, you know 
it's so lovely isn't it i think that's what i love about summer because people people don't people in the winter kind of we we kind of go into the sort of the navies and the blacks don't we when we, yeah. we wear a lot of kind of navy black gray um and then spring comes out and you go oh, oh i can get my summer dresses out and i can i can wear color um so i love it when people um you know red and pink and orange yes. and i would never have worn orange um until recently oh okay so Ooh, there you that'll go that'll be working with lisa then <laughs> that will be working with lisa yes excellent <laughs> oh, well, somehow we've reached 40 minutes jenny <laughs> how hard right. was that rachel <laughs> <laughs> fantastic love not it at all yeah not in the slightest bit hard i feel like we could probably talk all afternoon quite easily um but i think like you say 40 minutes is uh probably enough for people to listen to um and we want to say something for next time as well so um we do. If, if you've been able to tune in then thank you very much for listen listening to us um we'd love to have some questions some surprise questions um that we can talk about next time um questions on absolutely anything as as you've seen from today it can be on absolutely anything so if you've got any questions then let us know um so thank you for tuning in and jenny thank you for your time and i can't wait for the next one <laughs> it's i know it's just fabulous isn't it um we we really enjoy doing this and we hope you've enjoyed listening and absolutely. and that we've we've brought a bit of brilliance to your day um, either when you're listening whether you've listened live or whether you decided that you want to um, listen on catch up I think we're on catch up aren't we we can do replay yes. um, um, we hope we've we've brought a bit of brilliance into uh, into your lives too um, you certainly made my day shine brighter um, Rachel Aww, so thank likewise you. Jenny I always feel happier when I've spoken to you <laughs> um, well, so we will see time. you See you in a couple of weeks. Yes, same time, same place in two weeks. Fabulous. <laughs> All right, you take Have care. Have a great day. Bye. Bye. Bye.